uh, China, we move uh, to Hong Kong, where anger is uh, rising over the mysterious disappearance over the past months of five booksellers specializing in uh, publications critical of China. The case has stock, uh, stocked fears that Beijing may be using shadowy tactics to muzzle dissent, uh, dissent in the former British colony. I-24 News correspondent Amos Sixik has more. Is the Hong Kong government coordinating with Beijing authorities to silence dissent? This question has haunted citizens in the former British colony for months, as publishers of such critical texts began vanishing, one after the other. The latest occurrence seems to have marked a tipping point, the disappearance of 65-year-old Li Bo, a shareholder of Causeway Bay Books, prompted dozens of protesters to hit the streets demanding answers. Under pressure, Hong Kong's chief executive finally addressed their concerns Monday. Freedom of uh, the press, and freedom of publication and freedom of expression are protected by laws uh, in Hong Kong. But activists remain unsatisfied, citing Hong Kong's quiet censorship of books critical of the Communist Party government. The most scary thing is, is that, that, that there's no news and no proof on what happened to those five publishers. The basic law guarantees wide-ranging personal freedoms to residents of Hong Kong, including free speech. Political books, which are banned in mainland China, often become major sellers in Hong Kong. But the autonomy granted to residents of Hong Kong under the one country, two systems regime may be under threat. We have strong reason to believe that Mr. Li Bo was probably kidnapped and then smuggled back to the mainland for political investigation. The Hong Kong government maintains that it has no information on the five missing publishers. But in a country where censorship is common on the mainland, such statements may not be enough to assuage critics who foresee a new kind of fear spreading in Hong Kong, namely that of the written word.